The Sports Desk is sponsored by Jim Butler Chevrolet, the Midwest's number one Chevy dealer, 10 years running. Well, even at full strength, last night was going to be a tough one for City SC at Nashville. Subtract Klaus, Blom, and Leuven from the lineup, and a tough situation turns into an even tougher one. The battle of first in the West against second in the East was certainly an entertaining game, though. The park was rocking there in Nashville. Lots of City fans ended up making the trip. Already down 1-0, and City gets on the board. Or do they? It's deflected off Giacchini, and after review, it is confirmed tie game. But Nashville has the reigning MLS MVP in Hani Mukhtar. He showed why he's the best last night. He already had Nashville's first goal. Just beats Roman Berkey on a PK to get two. And later on, Mukhtar finishes off the hat trick with another beauty. City falls 3-1 to one in their first trip to the Music City. And these key moments lead to big decisions when you're playing against top teams in the league. And uh, uh, players like Mukhtar will, will punish you, as we've seen, you know, the weeks prior to the game. So upset for the boys, you know, I thought uh, they deserved more on a night that was combative. You know, they emptied the tank. This was a shocker yesterday. David Fries, author of a few of the most magical moments in Cardinals history, has declined his upcoming induction into the team's Hall of Fame. Fries won the fan vote by an overwhelming margin but has implied he doesn't feel deserving of a red jacket. Here's part of Freeze's statement released on Saturday. You can read the whole thing on KSDK.com. Freeze said in part that he had been thinking about this possibility even before the voting process began. He went on to talk about looking back on his career in St. Louis and the support he's always felt from his hometown. Jose Okendo and Max Lanier are still set to be inducted later this summer. How about the current Cardinals? Well, they were trying to end a six-game losing streak in New York yesterday. The first pitch Adam Wainwright threw, well, it went for a Brandon Nimmo homer. Here we go again, right? But the birds rebounded. Paul Goldschmidt slugs a two-run bomb. And then Jordan Walker, he's going to go oppo as well. That's his fifth home run of the year. Jordan Hicks, he gets the nod in the ninth, and after some nervous moments, he's going to strike out the side. Cardinals win 5-3 to three to stop the streak. Wayno pitched into the seventh and notched his 198th career win in his last career start in the Big Apple. I'd rather have to be the guy that just continues a streak of winning on, but um, you know we needed to win today, so I was I was grateful to be on the mound when we did. Got some applause from Mets fans tonight, which was <laughs> which was very surprising, and I appreciated it. It was the good guys. Was it when you were walking off? Mm -hmm. Okay, so not after the first pitch. Yeah, probably they want me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Round three of the U.S. Open, this man still out in front, Ricky Fowler. Check out this birdie putt. My goodness, it's good from 69 feet on hole 13. Ricky's tied for first with Wyndham Clark at 10 under heading into today. I'm showing you this right here to make you feel better about your own game. Xander Shoffley needed to take three out of the sand on hole one. Been there, done that. Look out for this guy Sunday. The world number one is lurking. Scotty Scheffler flies it on for an eagle on 17. He is just three back. St. Louis has never been short on homegrown sports stars. And those stars never forget where they came from. Two St. Louis Mizzou football standouts, one former and one present, gave back this weekend. New Pittsburgh Steeler Marcus Golden held his fifth football camp for kids at his alma mater in Afton. And current Mizzou receiver and the newest emo spokesman, Luther Burden III, held his camp at Herbert Hoover Boys and Girls Club, where he grew up playing the game. Now that they're in the positions they are, both feel the call to give back. And this is always a great way to give back. Uh, from the game I love, the game that helped me out so much, and I'll be able to come back, see the kids. We got a lot of people out from NFL players to uh, guys from college at Mizzou to NFL coaches. Yeah, it's super crazy, man. I, I just, you know, didn't expect, you know, just to be one of the guys that, you know, the little kids look up to. Because I remember I was, you know, in their shoes at this position one time. So, um, I... It's just a blessing, man, to be here. That's it for sports this morning. Have a great Father's Day, St. Louis.